let's show our viewers uh, a couple of challenges that you might experience if indeed you decide to breastfeed. Uh, you may have sore nipples, and why is that? Well, sometimes with uh, poor latching, that's what causes sore nipples. Regardless, when you start breastfeeding, they are going to hurt because, you know, it's a sensitive area. It doesn't really get exposed that way. So it takes some time for it to really get through it. But it shouldn't, once you put the baby onto the breast, it shouldn't continue hurting the same amount. It should hurt, like, initially when you latch, but then it should, like, continue getting better. And this is something that no one knows, the low milk supply. I mean, that's just... Uh the luck of the draw, right? Because right. I have a friend of mine who, you know, she was very blessed on the upper side of her body and uh, she, she produced nothing, right. as opposed to me that I'm just, you know, mm -hmm. I, I have nothing, to be honest, I'm <laughs> flat. And, uh, and I became a double D. Wow. So in this situation, you know, size does not matter, ladies. No, it does right? not, yeah. I mean, there's some breast conditions called hypoplasia, breast hypoplasia, that, I mean, there's women that get breast augmentation, so it's very important to ask if they had breast surgery and why did they have a breast augmentation. Usually, uh, if it's just to make them bigger, then that's fine, but if it's what's to correct a, what's called like a unilateral like breast, you know, one's bigger than the other, then mm -hmm. that has the underlying issue because the important part is the lack of glandular tissue. So it doesn't matter if you have big breasts, but if you had very little glandular tissue, that's right. then you're not gonna produce that much milk. What about clogged ducts? Uh, how does that happen? Well, it happens at the beginning once you get uh, engorged and you're not emptying your breast frequently and not putting your baby onto the breast enough, or if you're waiting too long in between feeds, then that's gonna cause the clogged ducts, which will later, you know, if not treated, if you don't really stay on top of that, it'll lead to mastitis, and then unfortunately, maybe even create an abscess, which is like a hole in your breast. And let's clarify what mastitis is. So mastitis is more of an infection. It usually, it's like a, a clogged duct, but it, it worsens. So it's more like flu-like symptoms. It's red, and it's usually on one side of the breast, and it's very hard. And it's usually, it's a bacteria that enters through like a cracked nipple.